The 2024 Formula One season starts off with something unprecedented. The driver lineup for the entire grid stays exactly the same. But this means that we should get the most unbelievable silly season with drivers changing teams, changing seats, coming into Formula One or retiring or just being let go completely. That means that in 2024, it's more important than ever to prove why you deserve to be on the Formula One grid. So here are five drivers who need to prove that they are worth their seat in Formula One. Let's start off with the most obvious, which is Logan Sargent. He only had his contract renewed at the end of the season once we got into the winter break. He had several crashes during the season, but he did have a couple of good races and showed some flashes of the speed that we would expect from a good Formula One driver. This season, his second in Formula One, he needs to put everything together that he has learned from his rookie season and show why he deserves that second Williams seat. Next up, Yuki Tsunoda. With the AlphaTauri team not really being used as a Red Bull Junior program anymore, and Yuki Tsunoda being the only Red Bull Junior on the grid in a Red Bull team, he needs to prove why he deserves to take that seat from Sergio Perez. He has improved greatly over the last couple of seasons. In fact, he's become quite a good little Grand Prix driver. Unfortunately though, there are still some rough edges, some problems with his performances, which is why he hasn't already been promoted up to the big leagues. But this is the season when he really needs to show what he can do. With Sergio Perez's seat coming under threat, as soon as his contract ends this year, he needs to show that he can step up and take that seat from Perez. While we're talking about Alpha Tauri, the next driver is Daniel Ricciardo. Daniel Ricciardo is also after Sergio Perez's seat. This will be Ricciardo's first full season back in Formula One since he left McLaren and took a short sabbatical. This season is crucial for Ricciardo showing that he is back to his old fighting self and that he can do what he needs to do to get into that Red Bull seat, to drive against Verstappen and to be the perfect wingman. We all know Ricciardo has an immense amount of talent and we'll all be pleased to see him driving for a big team again. But he really needs to use this season to show what he can do and that he's back to his old self. While we're talking about Sergio Perez's seat, let's talk about Sergio Perez. Perez's contract is up for renewal at the end of this season, which means that he can't go on another 2023 slump, missing for the entire middle part of the season and being knocked out of qualifying so many times in Q3. If he wants to show that he is the right man for that Red Bull seat, he needs to be up there. He needs to support Verstappen. He needs to be the rear gunner. And he needs to pick up the pieces when Verstappen maybe has an off day. Not that it seems that Verstappen never does. But he needs to be there in case there's a problem with Verstappen's car and the car has to be retired or something like that. He needs to be up there in the top four, really, to be able to show he deserves that seat. The final driver that I've picked for something to prove isn't actually somebody who is under threat for losing his seat, but it's George Russell. Russell had an excellent season in joining Mercedes in 2022, but last season he really seemed to struggle with the direction that the car went in, and he had a bit of a sketchy season. He was so far away from Hamilton in a lot of the races, and in the points table he was a long way down. Now some of that could be accounted for bad luck <laughs> because his car engine blew up in Australia and he had other various different issues which caused him to drop down the order in some of the races. But also some of it is due to just driver error. He needs to improve his performance because after all when Hamilton does decide to retire he's meant to be the prodigal son who will take up the reins from Hamilton. So he needs to be showing that he is that driver and that Mercedes don't need to go off and find someone else to fill Hamilton's shoes. That he's there waiting in the wings for Hamilton to retire or even that he's going to take that position from Hamilton trying to force him into retirement. But just Russell really needs to show what he's made of this season. So there we are. There's five drivers that I think really have something to prove this season. They really need to show us what they're made of. These are my opinions, but I'd love to hear yours, so leave them in the comments below.